Let's take a look at coordinates. So the most important thing to remember is that we go across or we go horizontal before we go vertical. So minus two, zero, let's go across to minus two and then down to zero, which is meaning we don't need to go up or down. So that is point C. Minus four, minus three, so go across to minus four and then down to minus three, so that is E. Three, four, go across to three and up to four, so that is B. Go across to negative three and down to negative four, that is F. Coordinates of points A are, well, we're going across to minus one and up to four, so that is minus one, four. B, we're going across to negative two and then down to negative three, so that's minus two, minus three. C, we're going across to four and not going up at all, so that's gonna be four, zero. And D, we're going across to four and down to minus four, so that's four, minus four. Here we're plotting the points, so minus one, one, go across to minus one and then up to one, there's point A. Three, five, we're going across to three, up to five, there's point B. Minus two, minus four, go across to minus two and then down to minus four, so that's point C. And D is two, negative one, go across to two and then down to minus one, there's point D. More of the same, so plotting three, three, so go across to three and up to three is there. 2, 0, go across to 2 and don't go up at all, so that is B, sorry I should label these. Minus 4, minus 5, go across to minus 4 and then down to minus 5, so that is going to be there. 0, negative 4, so we don't go across at all and we go down to minus 4, so this is point D. Question number 5, we are um, just plotting the points and then just uh, joining them up to make a triangle. So A is negative 2, negative 1, so go across to negative 2 and down to negative 1, that's point A. B is 3, negative 1, so go across to 3 and down to negative 1. And C is 2, 4, so go across to 2 and up to 4, there's C. So all we need to do now is just draw a straight line to join these to make a triangle. Question number 6. So we're drawing an isosceles triangle and one of the key properties or the key property of an isosceles triangle is that it has two sides which are the same length. And we know that this triangle has a height of five. So um, I'm gonna work out the height of five. So one, two, th one, two, three, four, five. So the other point is gonna be somewhere on this line. Now to create an isosceles triangle, I need to plot this point so that um, A to C and C to B are identical. Now, to, the distance from A to B is one, two, three, four. So what I need to do is plot C, so it's exactly halfway between A and B, but on this line. So two across from A and this point here. So if I call this point C, AC is the same as CB, and that's a height of one, two, three, four, five. And the coordinates of C are going across to negative one, up to two, so minus one, two. Question number seven, so points A and B have been plotted and uh, we're trying to make a square. So what is the side length? One, two, three, four. Obviously here we need a right angle, so the next point will be on this line here. Again, four um, squares away from A, so one, two, three, four. So that is going to be C or D, it doesn't really matter. And therefore the other point is going to be one, two, three, four, and we've created a square. So the coordinates of these points are, probably call that C, that one D. Let's call C 1 minus 2. And this point here is 1, 2. And the final question, we are uh, trying to work out a triangle that has, we're trying to draw a triangle which has an area of 15 centimetres squared. Now, the formula for the um, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So if we assume that this is going to be the base, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six times something divided by two needs to equal 15. Um, so what we could do here is move the, this division by two over to the other side, so six multiplied by the height equals 15 times two. 15 times two is 30, so six times the height 
equals 30. 6 times what equals 30? Well, 6 times 5 equals 30. So we need a triangle that's got a height of 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore, we are going to be plotting C somewhere on this line. And could it be anywhere on, on this line? Or are we trying to create an isosceles triangle? It doesn't say. So um, well, we can just stick C literally anywhere on this line. And we will have a triangle that has an area of 15 because we've got a base of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We've got a base of 6. And we've got a height of 5. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So why don't we just stick C um, there, for example. So um, the coordinates could be minus 2, minus 3. But it could be anything minus 3. That, that would also be acceptable too.